Starting to see if anybody wanted to pop on a live stream real quick. Let's see if anybody does decide to join. Just be a little bit quiet right now, just to see if anybody decides. It says on the streaming software, we got one person watching. Let me just pull up the instructions for these guys and then we'll see if anybody else joins. If you hear the um, audio repeating itself, it's because I have it on my iPad as well, just to make sure that everybody is, or everybody can hear me. Because you obviously want to be able to hear me, because that'd be bad if it just didn't work. Well, how is everybody doing today? Hello, Super Captain. Let's see. Alrighty. All right, I'm gonna go pull up the instructions real quick. the first one and then we got the second one all right so let's go check that out um, hi BJ um, I just saw that um, how are you uh, I'm doing good super captain D all right, let me just get these instructions popped up real, real quick. And there it is. And where's the other one at? 7155. All right, cool. So let's pop up the instructions for the AAT. And let's pop up the instructions for the 2000 TIE Fighter. All right, we got both those guys in there. So, how's everybody doing? Just decided to stream. Don't really have anything else to do. How you doing, DJ? those plates down real quick um so yeah this set i think yeah the set number is 7155 and it was released back in um i think 2000 yeah 2000 so then we got those big like radar dish panels and we've got some plates Nothing too crazy. Just trying to get some of these parts out of here. 
flat, you can just cut them out. So, are you guys still on the stream? Just want to make sure that I'm not doing this for nothing. Yeah, so there's two of you watching. Very cool. Let's just get these guys. So, here are the two battle droids that come in it. There's this guy right here. And then there's this guy right here, and then they have these big old blasters with these giant cone pieces attached to it. And it just looks pretty weird. But, let me just put those guys aside. It says we've got three watching now. Now we're starting to pick up some traffic. Awesome. So who all is in the chat, or who's watching right now? Give out some shoutouts. Anyways, um, so the set does use a lot of the older colors because it is um, an older set. So you can see that there's the different brown colors compared to now. Um, then we've got these two plates here. Uh, Scout Studios, can you talk louder? Yeah, let me just see real quick if everything's plugged in. Alright, is this a little bit better? I don't know why, it just sounds really weird on the um, streaming software. It always makes me sound a little bit more quiet. And I don't want to have to raise my voice too, too loud because then I don't want people to think I'm all angry. But I'll, I'll definitely try and raise my voice, yeah. I, I saw that on my other live stream that I did quite a while back, and it just sounded a little different. Thanks, no problem. Always want to appease the viewers, just so that, you know, it's enjoyable to watch for you guys, and it's not just all lame and boring, and then, so, how's everybody doing today, how are you doing, Scout Studios, Um, I'm doing quite fine. Um, just really been playing Minecraft today. It's just been a really chill day for me. Um, might knock out some schoolwork later today just to get out of the way. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've got on my plate for today. So it's been a pretty good day so far. And now we're at 74 subscribers, which is now insane. I never thought we'd reach that. Um, just crazy. Um, since you're on here, Scout, I'll show you a little sneak peek of something. Since you do have a little bit of privilege, since you are able to be on here, but um, let me just grab a random one. This is a hint of what is coming in the future pretty soon. The army video the 2020 army will be out very very shortly um probably sometime next week so definitely stay tuned for that i got all the figures done and it is a little over um 800 so it's it's almost 850 wow that's pretty cool yeah i have amassed an army over the years and I guess it just accumulated to the point of where I am at now. So in the instruction manual, it says that you need to take off the guns out of their hands. And you need to put them in these back little clips where they're supposed to be. So that's a little bit interesting. Um, and then this build, whenever I first saw it in a store... At our, um, like, it's almost like a bricks and minifigs, but it's something else, um, localized to our state, and it's a little bit smaller, and it's just, like, one store, and it's not a chain of stores, but I saw this set one time there, and I, I parted the set off of BrickLink, but I saw that set there, and I was like, holy crap, that is big, because I know a lot of people complained about it being smaller than the previous one 
and I never really thought why, because I was like, I love the 2015 one. You can see it up there. You can see the back of it right there. But I was like, why do people hate on that set so much about it being smaller? But now I know why, because we got so many bigger sets back in the day that I just never really saw the difference. Oh, how much was it? Um... I, there's like a thing that we can do at our brick place, that's what we call it, um, where I found most of the parts to it. Um, my cousin also gave me a bunch of his older Lego Star Wars sets, so he had a few of these pieces. Like I saw, these pieces were in his bin of just parts, and I was like, this set goes to, the, or these pieces go to the AAT. So I was like, holy crap, I gotta part this set together. So I f um, just slowly started to accumulate all these pieces until like I just needed like maybe 30 pieces left. And overall, I think the BrickLink order for this guy itself was maybe like $20. So I ended up probably paying at least maybe like $30 to $40 for it. And it typically goes on the aftermarket for upwards to $100. So that is really, really neat that I was able to get it for this price. And I just find it really, really cool like that it's just so big. And I love these big bulky plates. It just looks really, really interesting. So wild, or not wild, um, Scout Studios, what have you been up to? Like, do you have any videos planned or anything? Glide, so put these tiles down here so that it can glide. Very, very nice. Um, I've been watching football. I'm not posting until after Christmas. All right. Yeah. I mean, I've definitely um, been off and on, but I've really tried to been posting a little bit more. And so, yeah. Football. I'm not really a big fan of it, but I can see where the hype is around it. It is definitely a popular sport. So well, every now and then I'll watch it, but I decided um, if I'm going to build this set today, why not get some watch hours out of it? Not that that sounds too too great, but just decided to take a little bit of an advantage here, and um, also I'll have a review out of this set right here probably in the next few days um maybe wednesday or something around there tuesday of next week so that'll be nice all those front little cannons on there so yep just trying to provide the content for everyone and then over the holidays um i should be posting a little bit more are you streaming on an iphone the quality is very good oh, all right first off thank you um, yes, I am streaming on my iPhone. So, if you're wondering how I'm doing that, because you need 1,000 subscribers, obviously I do not have that. So, if you download this app, I have Apple iPhone, but if you have this app called, or you can find this app called Streamlabs, you can hook up your phone to Streamlabs, and you need to sign in. If you have a computer, you can sign into that computer and um, sign in, go and create a live stream on the computer, and then it'll say like, do you want to create a live stream right now or in the future? Click right now um, on this computer or on a streaming software, click on a streaming software, and then you can just leave your computer open, and then um, while your computer's open, you can just kind of let it sit there and then create a live stream on um, Streamlabs. And I think the only way, like sometimes there's a little watermark at the bottom of it. Sometimes there's not, but I mean the watermark's really small, so not a lot of people are like, hey, like I can see that, but it's not that nice. I record on an iPhone and edit on a laptop. 
yeah. Um, iPhones are just really, really great cameras now. They just have really, really great cameras. And um, most people do have iPhones, so it's just a nice way to save money instead of buying, especially whenever you just start off and you don't know if your channel is going to be able to be su successful. But if you just want to put in the money for a camera later on, but cameras are really expensive. And then editing on a computer, that's really, really cool. Uh, I just do all my editing on iMovie, so that's just that. And the interesting bit about this piece here, the slope, is there's actually a hole in the bottom of it. I guess that's just for the older sets. Alrighty. And it says we need to grab one of our battle droids here and put him in. Alrighty. There he goes. And then it's we need one of these. Wow, his neck looks broken. But he fits in there nice and neat. So that's always a plus. It says we got four people watching. That's crazy. This one definitely took off a little bit more. I tried to live stream probably like a week ago. And nobody was really joining. So I appreciate everyone who joined. Um, sometimes I'll edit on mobile called Video Shop. And there's only a watermark for like one second at a time. Like on the screen. Okay. Um, I'll go and check that out maybe after just to kind of see the difference. And just to see if there's any better editing. But eventually, I'll maybe invest into a computer and um, be able to, because I know my dad has an old one that we can repair up, and um, my dad's letting me borrow his right now so that I can live stream, so thank you to him. But um, I would definitely like to maybe edit on a computer, because I know you can have a lot more options with like inputting music and editing a little bit faster but mobile's pretty good for editing for what it is let's put this down let's move you a little bit back we got the top part it says we got five watching now holy cow where did everybody come from Everyone on, you guys can talk in the chat right now. I am available for questions. You can question me, and I will answer. Because I have my iPad right here, and um, I can look on there and read the questions off of there. Just trying to find these little parts. Um, how many Lego sets do I own? I'm not too sure. Um, I think... If, let me go check brick set real quick. So I'm going to just pop off of there real quick. Brick set. I know it's like... Including poly bags and everything in minifigures. Um, it says that I own 417 sets. So yeah. I think I'm going to show you my iPad real quick. You can see my ring light right there, but yeah, all these. And if we just click onto there, you can see just a little bit of them. And um, so yeah, some of the Rogue One sets. And if I click on my actual, my sets selection and do collection analysis, um, I have, it typically said, yeah, I have 221 LEGO Star Wars sets, specifically LEGO Star Wars, um, and then, let's see, where is it at, I know there's somewhere where you can see, um, where, uh, the total percent of everything you own, Oh, here it is. Um, so it says I own 37% of all LEGO Star Wars sets, which is really, really crazy. And my 
um, Lego Star Wars set value is $8,760. So I definitely do have a lot of Lego sets. And I think I have, yeah, 1,261 minifigures. But 800 of those are Star Wars, which are the ones I mostly do. Um, Super Captain D says, your editing is pretty awesome for doing it on your iPhone. Thank you. Nice. Wow. What is your favorite set? Um, if you watch my ATAT Walker review in the snow, that one is my favorite set, probably. And once I get my hands on the, um, oh, what's the one? Oh, yeah, the new ATAT. That one might be my favorite. And I also really do love the 20th anniversary slave one, the one that you did a review on a couple of days ago. That one's a really nice set. I think everyone can agree on that one. And now, I just checked eBay and Macari lately, just to see, because everybody was, like, making jokes about, oh, it's in Mando now. Um, they're going to hike up the value. Um, yeah, it's just going up in value, and now it's, like, $200, which is insane. Uh, yeah, I have the Slave one. It's pretty nice. Yeah, the Slave one is just a really great set. I think that it comes with a lot of great minifigures, and especially if you didn't get the Betrayal on Cloud City set, it has a lot of those figures in it that come in that set just without all their arm and printing and leg printing, and the Zuckus minifigures are really, really cool. This is a really interesting piece right here. I guess it's used for boats. I'm not too sure on that. This set does use some interesting color choices in here. Like, it has a lot of filler brick, but sadly, you can see, like, all that blue on the back there. There's just a lot of blue being shown. But, yep. Just kind of chilling. Um, I've really started to collect a lot more older sets now, for some reason. I'm not too sure why. I just kind of done that. I also love Jabba's Sail Barge. Yeah, Jabba's Sail Barge is just absolutely amazing set. And especially that Slave Leia minifigure, or Hut Slayer Leia, depending on what you want to call her. Um, but that minifigure is just insane. And the Max Rebo minifigure, those guys are just amazing. I just love them. I love them, love them, love them. Well, I have some great detail. And then... I think, yeah, it's right here. There she is. It's all the little detail in the paneling. It's just a really great set. Too bad it's just so expensive. Triop Studios, General Kenobi. Hello there. Not stop myself from saying that. Uh, the only old Lego set is the Battle of Endor set. Is that the one from 2009? The old, like the Endor bunker set? What is your oldest? Um, 1999 Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Yeah, that set is really, really good, too. Um, I do not own that one, but I hope they remake it soon. But yeah, I'd say go ahead and get that. So that's really cool that you're going to be able to get that. Try out. I own the Sail Barge, too, yeah. It's just a really, really good set. I think a lot of people just regret not buying it because... Um, they're like, oh, Jabba stuff is going to be remade, but a lot of controversy came down with Jabba and his palace, saying, like, people were saying it looks like a mosque, and Lego had to cut down its runtime, which, thank God I was able to get one. Um, so I'm so lucky to have that, and I also have the Rancor set, so I have both of those, and those are just amazing sets together. 
So yeah, definitely have quite the collection. For you new guys that just joined, I have them right here. Here is a sneak peek of what's coming in the week. Um, let me just grab it real quick. I did my clone army video, but now I'm doing my um, o overall army. So like all of my Lego Star Wars minifigures. I'll probably keep it down to like 10 minutes, just so that it's not overly long. I love that you can combine the Rancor set and the Jabba's Palace set. Yeah, I just love that play feature in there. And then they also have in the Jabba's Palace the thing that can allow you to drop Ula or Luke into the Rancor Pit or the Gamorrean Guard. It's just a really nice play feature. A lot of those like 2013, 2012 sets were just really, really great. And that's kind of like my golden year of collecting. And then 2014, I kind of collected a lot. And then 2015, I kind of slowed down a little bit. Just because of like all the Rebels and Freemaker Adventure sets. But now I'm starting to pick up a little bit more. Because i not going to lie, I kind of really like the new sets. The 2021 sets. I know a lot of people bash them like, oh, it's another X-Wing. Or, oh, it's another TIE Fighter. But... Honestly, I really like that TIE Fighter set. Like, that would be a great set to buy multiples of if you find it on sale. But yeah, look how big this guy is. He's quite the big one. Whenever I first saw this set, I was like, wow, this guy's massive. But now that I actually have him in hand, he even looks actually even more bigger. But yeah, we're just adding these engines on here. It is very, very rudimentary. But some of the pieces on here are exclusive, and they just look really nice on the set itself. I'm excited for the Elite Imperial Shuttle set. Yeah, that one's really, really good looking. The only question I have, though, is why does Luke have a blue lightsaber? Like, why does he have to have a blue lightsaber? I do not understand that. But yeah. I have the 2015 one, and that is just an absolutely amazing set. So, I would definitely say that the newer one is probably going to be as good, or not if as good, or better than that set. Just a little bit lacking on the minifigures. And then, I think another set that I might review soon, just to kind of go out with a bang in 2020, is to do the gunship review. And I think that would be really nice. There's the little cannons. Now we got the big boy cannon. I wonder how this cannon sizes up to the AAT in 2020. I have it back there. I just need to um, open it. Because some of those sets, like, I buy a lot of sets whenever they go on sale. And if I see them and it's a good price, my parents will typically be able to find them or and get them for me. And then I'll buy them from them later on. So it's just a nice win-win. Because that I have all three of those action battle sets. Um, and I got them all for half off. Except one, which was $3 more than half off. But I mean, that's still a great deal. Yeah, that cannon is quite big, but I mean, it's probably better than what most would say. But there she is. She is quite the big one. Uh, just give me one quick second.
Um, I gotta be careful that I don't show myself. If we compare it up to the 2015 one, you can definitely see the sizable difference right there. So, yeah. And then... If we just take a look at them real quick. Um, I will definitely have a comparison of these guys out as well. But this cannon comes out perfectly. This cannon comes out perfectly. This one, the whole head swivels, but it also has on like a limited range of motion right there. This one, on the other hand, has limited motion right here, but then it can crank up. And one good thing that I did about parting this set together is a lot of people are like, especially if I watched MNR Productions' review of this, and his, he like tried to push it down, and then this part would just keep cracking in his, um, these like hinge pieces would be very brittle for him and like if you would just pop this up it would just pop off like that but mine and the way that I parted it together it stays on there so let me just put that back on there but yeah you can see and then there's some little binoculars in there and then the battle droid folds up then their weapons are down here and then this can be removed to access that guy so it's definitely a good set for back in the day and i think it still has some good value there um who is your favorite popular star wars lego youtuber um probably mnr productions but um also j rich boy j if you haven't seen him he is really really amazing he does all those large scale mocks. Like he's right now, he's currently building Star Killer Base. So if you don't know him, go subscribe to him right now. He's an excellent builder. I like MNR Productions too. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the next guy is. Oh no, my Christmas tree fell. And then one YouTuber that I actually see who is nearly the same age as I. Um, he's definitely been growing in the ranks of Lego Star Wars YouTubers. Um, Republic Studs. Republic Studs has definitely been growing very, very rapidly. So, I mean, good job to him. Because he has been just blowing it up on YouTube. And so yeah. We're still holding on there. Um so yeah, that's pretty much what my opinions are. But um another good YouTuber that I definitely recommend is um he works kind of um, with your Rich Boy J or their accomplices, but um, the Brick Wiz, he's currently building Endor, and that's looking really, really nice because he's taking a new approach to it. But here are two figures for the um, TIE Fighter. You can see the old Stormtrooper with the yellow face, which just looks really weird. Set him back there. And then the TIE Pilot with the brown head. Once again, this set did come from my cousin. I just parted it together. So let's just start to build them. Old Stormtrooper helmet is okay. Yeah. Do you like the new one? The one that gets a lot of flack. like the new helmet okay yeah um i think the new helmet looks great just like the dual molded one i think they should combine it 
like with this one so that the helmet can still like twist a little bit easier. I don't know. Imagine if like the helmets were just printed on the heads. Imagine how goofy that would look. That would look cursed. But yeah. The new the new helmets in my opinion look pretty good. Unfortunately though that um battle pack that they came in the 20th anniversary one it just didn't last a long time like it was on store shelves and then the second you knew it it was off store shelves and it never went below like $13 I don't think I mean um you could probably find it for a little bit cheaper than that in like Florida but where I live there's not too many excellent Lego Star Wars deals the best one I found was I wasn't going to get the resistance bomber originally but um I found it at this bookstore that we live in nearby and I was able to get the resistance bomber a hundred and ten dollar set for fifty dollars which was probably my best deal I've ever gotten um, yeah I didn't get a chance to get it yeah that's unfortunate now people are like oh it's 20th anniversary so it has to be ten dollars more as soon as it gets onto the aftermarket all those 20th anniversary sets are going to skyrocket, and then it's just going to, especially that slave one now, $200 already, which is just ridiculous. It's all crazy. The market is flooded. The market has crashed. I got the indoor battle pack for $10 sealed on eBay. Dang. That is a good deal. That is definitely a good deal. I would be checking back with that seller constantly to see if he puts any more new things on. That is an amazing deal. Kudos to you, man. Dang. I got it for like retail price. Or less. That's insane. I got that one back in the day. Um, it's a it's a nice little set. It is definitely a nice little set. Um, I don't think I have it near me though. But yeah, I think I know which one you're talking about. The one with like the little tree build and the speeder. It was definitely a nice little build. And then you got some great minifigures in it as well. Especially if you wanted to build an indoor mock at that time. Right now, I was talking to you about Rich Boy J earlier. And, um, I really want to go on one of his live streams and talk. But I just don't know yet. I don't think I have the time to do it. Um, I'm working on an indoor mock, and I need a couple of that battle pack. Some plant pieces. Yeah. It's hit or miss with plant pieces on the pick a brick wall. Sometimes you go and they're there. Sometimes you go and they're not there. It all depends. But yeah, I definitely think that an indoor mock would be cool. I don't think you would be able to accomplish that well with those figures. Got that. And especially if your YouTube channel takes off and you can get monetized. That just helps even better. Hoping to get some for Christmas. Yeah. Um... It's kind of a shame that Lego is getting rid of battle packs for what we know so far. It's just really, really sad. Because battle packs are like the one thing I looked forward to, really. Is to see, like, what is the next battle pack going to be? But the 501st battle pack was a blessing and a disaster at the same time. Um, 
I'll probably use some sets like the Battle Gundor and I'll make a video on it. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Anything, like anything that could constitute a video is just a great idea to just get some stuff on there and then just start working on it. Because, I mean, more videos is more view traction. And you could also build up your little fan base. I mean, 74 subscribers is just crazy. That's 74 people who actually take time out of their day to watch my content. And that's very, very special. Is back thing. Oh, also, many people are selling to older ATST on eBay for around twenty dollars. Um, the which which ATST? The one that came in the Battle of Endor set, or the Rogue One one? Here's a little cockpit, a very ball-like. And you see the little engine back there. And this whole thing just lifts up, clamps back on down. Pretty interesting to see. Um, it was the one like before. Oh, so you must be talking about the 2007 one. It kind of had like a boxy looking head. Cause I have the original one. I picked that one up not too long ago, maybe like a little bit less than a month ago, and that one just is completely weird. I can go get it if you want to see it and see if you'd be interested in that one. Old Iceman, Star Wars. Yep, this is Star Wars. How are you doing, Old Iceman? to get some of these pieces out of the way. I'm going to build the stand up. So, what are your guys' opinion on the 18 plus line of sets? Like, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? Please don't fall right there. Like, do you guys think it's a good theme? It's like a good thing that they're doing, or is it kind of just like, why are they doing this? Or they're just trying to make more money. They're good for collectors. Yeah, I would agree on that. Um, the only one I have is the Best Bin Duel back there. I was lucky enough to get that set. It's still sealed. Definitely gonna build it eventually, and I'm not gonna sell it. Even though I probably could sell it. Ooh. I just don't want to. And it's a nice set to have. Uh, I feel like they're a teeny bit overpriced. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. The bust sets, I mean, they're interesting as well, but nothing i really am like Ooh, i need to go out there and buy it now the only one i might buy is the um darth vader bust that c is coming out next year just because i like me some darth vader but yeah this is the little stand that the tie fighter sits upon it's an interesting design because then 
there's like a two by two little area right there and then you just kind of plop it on there and it sits and of course once i have the wings built we will be able to see it in full action what do you think the new ucs is going to be well i definitely think that the next one is going to be or the may the fourth one is going to be the gunship which everyone that said oh i just thought of something that set's going to sell out sell out so so fast it's going to be stupid it's honestly going to be dumb and it's going to be so dumb how fast that set sells out like we all thought that the um the cantina sold out fast that set's going to sell out in like half the time that the cantina did but I have $40 in VIP points right now. And I'm hoping to be able to get that with those VIP points. But the with the trend that everyone's saying is happening, um, we're going to be getting one of those big boys next year. Like the, and M&R has said that it could be the Death Star 2. And I think that it will be. I think that it's going to be the Death Star 2. Or another Death Star playset, because the um, one that they have right now is retiring. And I have the original Death Star set. Like, the Death Star playset. It is up there. Past the light. You can see it. But, yeah. It's a really nice set. Yeah, I watched that video. Mm-hmm. The, like his summer prediction set now he said that moth gideon cruiser set was going to be a thing or like he wishes it would be a thing it's not going to be a thing um i think what they're going to do is in the um holiday special they had the um ATATs in it they had they they had like all those little promotional videos, and one of them had the ATATs and those the twenty twenty ones, and then in the actual little scene in Hoth where Ray and Vader are teleporting around everywhere, um, that one uses the twenty fourteen one, but in the um, show we see a star destroyer, and that one is a completely new design other than the twenty fourteen one. So I'm thinking that the big set for next year is going to be a uh, um, Playscale Star Destroyer. That's what I'm thinking. Because in 2014, they released the Star Destroyer and the at, -AT together. But now they didn't do that, and they just released the at, -AT because of the anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. But I think we're a little bit overdue for a Star Destroyer. It's been six years that since we've had one. Not including the UCS one and the First Order one. But yeah, it would definitely be cool to get one of those. And, um, one thing about those $160 sets is on Amazon Prime Day in 2019, they had that Kessel Falcon, which is right there, where my finger's pointing, that they had that $160 set for $80. Wasn't gonna buy the set. Found it for 80, I was like, okay, that is ridiculous. I'm not gonna be able to pass that up. So, a lot of those solo sets, I was like, I'm not gonna buy them, I'm not gonna buy them. And then I found them for like half off, and then I'm like, I'm gonna buy them. But isn't that how everything works? But I haven't found any really good deals this year. Like, all the stores, I don't know if it's because of COVID or because of, like, production's down, so they have to keep them at full price. But, like, the Luke's Land Speeder, haven't seen it go down. Like, Obi-Wan's Hut, haven't seen it go down from 30 Typically, all of a sudden, like, right off the bat, they come off to, like, $24, 20% off. But this year, they just haven't done that. And it's really, really, really saddening to see. Because I'm like, where's all the good deals at? But the TIE Fighter for 
2021 and the X-Wing for 2021 and the um, Shuttle Tidarium for 2021. The Shuttle Tidarium, you're going to be able to pick it up for $60 if you find it on sale, which is an absolute steal for a Shuttle Tidarium. And if you find the X-Wing on sale, um, I found the Droid Gunship set, $50 set, 2019. Um, I found that set on sale. $50 set, $30. X-Wing, that came out in 2021. Once again, $50 set, or will it go on sale? That means you can get a decently sized X-Wing for the low price of $30, which you're basically getting, like, you can basically choose between Obi-Wan's hut or a Luke's land speeder or an X-Wing. I mean, who wouldn't choose the X-Wing? TIE Fighter. The Snow Speeder set, $40, came out not too long ago. You're going to probably be able to find the same deal on um, the TIE Fighter for like $28 once it goes on sale. $28 TIE Fighter, absolute steal. Maybe we'll go down a half off. That's a $20 TIE Fighter. You can pick up like three of them for 60 bucks. You can pick up like four of them. BJ says, I'm here again. Welcome back, BJ. Yeah, I have sixty dollars, so I'm waiting. I am waiting for that Mandalorian set. That Mandalorian set is golden, especially since I don't have a Baby Yoda yet. I want that set so so bad. But yeah, I mean, if twenty twenty holds and everything keeps going on the trend it's going with covid we might have another shutdown a complete shutdown which means that more people will be back on youtube which means that youtubers will be able to grow and hopefully that means that um we'll be able to gain some more subscribers um your voice reminds me of td bricks yep i can see that um, yes, um, Beskar Mando, yeah, $30, absolute steal, um, that set is just amazing, but if I prop this guy up on this little stand, um, I'm thinking that the TIE Fighter should be comparable to that size, whoa, almost fell there, but yeah, it's over. It's a really nice set. Um, just give me one quick second. I gotta go grab something. All right. I am back with the. TIE Fighter from 2018. So if I just scooch this back, you can definitely see the difference there. So I'm thinking that it's going to be the same kind of like size compared to the 2021 one. So that'll definitely be interesting to do a comparison of those guys all together but yeah so that's like a really big difference if you look at it from like the wing perspective i'm just like look at that that looks crazy and then we got this guy as well this guy out of the old sets i own is probably my favorite i really like him really like them a lot but yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for like the build so i'll just sit around and talk for a little bit and then i'll go ahead and end the stream but if anybody has any questions right now you can just ask and then we'll just kind of chill for a little bit on the squeaky chair So, yeah. Um, 
if you guys want to talk about anything specific, like if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, like any future videos, um, I definitely know that I'll be having some more um, videos coming out next week, which are going to be highly anticipated. Unfortunately, I have to go, but this was a great stream, and I ha and have a great day. Well, I'll see you around Scout Studios, and thank you for popping on, man. I appreciate it. Um, so, I'm going to have the ARMY video out next week, and I'm going to have, um, probably the TIE Fighter review and the at -AT review, so, and then I'll have maybe Mock Mondays, I'm not too sure, I still have to build it, but I'll have Mock Mondays, at, -AT um, ARMY, TIE Fighter, that's four videos for next week. That means I just need one more. Tony, cool. Yeah, so I'm excited to see what you guys think about the army. Tony, I don't think you were here earlier, so I'll just show you real quick. A little sneak peek of the army. But yeah, we have 830 something figures in the army, which is definitely gonna raise some attention to the channel i think because um i know a lot of people like to do their or i like to do my armies at the end of the year like set them up typically like i'll set them up myself before i had a youtube channel and just see like okay i'll have i had this much but next year i'm hoping i think maybe we'll be able to hit 1000 star wars minifigures that would be insane that just being that's like one of my dreams so yeah and i'm thinking i'm waiting off to do some set reviews because i'm going to do those on the snow as well because they are some hoth sets um but that's pretty much what we have planned for next week and um let me know if you guys like those mock monday videos like the um those two part ones but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i said i was gonna do an ahsoka f like versus mall thing but i might wait off on that one till january until i get 100 subscribers because once i reach 100 subscribers for my 50 subscriber live stream i did uh, um if i will first live build but for my 100 subscriber live stream i'm gonna do a live build of the aat but i feel like we should hit a hundred in like the next month or so so we'll just have to sit around and wait but yeah that's pretty much my plan for everything so do you guys have any video ideas for me of like what you guys would like to see Alright, nice. Alright, thanks. Okay, so I'm probably going to end the stream now. Um, thanks everyone for coming out. I really appreciate it. Just trying to do that grind. Tried to get just some content out today. And I um, just can't thank you guys enough for popping on. So, that's really going to be it. Indie Brick Productions is out. And may the brick be with you. Thanks everyone for joining. Alright, bye guys.